All right, here we go. The podcast ain't going to record itself, and we're testing out some new computer software today. So who knows what the hell is going to go wrong, what this will sound like. I think I know what it may or may not look like. And, you you know, depending on how bad things go, you may never even see this episode of Watching the Decline. Yes, my friends, this is episode six of Watching the Decline. And before we get into this, let me tell you, it snowed last night. First real snow up here in the Rapid City. There's white stuff all over the ground. Just the way I like it. I like being surrounded by white. And, man, I'm getting in that Christmas mood. What I want to know is this. Are any of you, like myself, are you dreaming of a white Christmas? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And if you two are dreaming of a white Christmas, if you haven't done it yet, you need to come over here, right here, C-Y-N, L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the interwebs. Right here at the top of each page, there's a little banner right here. Click here, get album, laugh at free tards. Click on it. Yes, it's the Wuhan Wonderland. Are you six feet from Christmas yet? And you can pick up Six Feet from Christmas by the great one himself with the tracks Dystopian Wuhan Wonderland, the 12 months of lockdown. Oh, orange man, now is the time. Shut up and wear the damn muzzle. Silent night, vaccinate, and of course, white Christmas, because aren't we all dreaming of a white Christmas? All of this, all of this for only $16. Support the great one himself, the founder of the Cynical Libertarian Society on the internet since 1999, podcasting for 18 years, who is right, who has always been right, who will always be right, who has never been wrong. You're welcome. Today is the 10th of November, But you're in the year of Wuhan, 2022. Uh, I, what was my? Well, I, I had a great little catchy phrase there. Ain't no. What? Anyway, I forgot. I forgot what it was. It was so catchy and so clever. I forgot what it was. We just had the election. I'm still waiting for everything to sort out before I do a podcast and talk about the election. But so far, there's been no wave. Not that I've seen, because the Republicans were all, there's going to be a red wave. And the Democrats all said, there's going to be a blue wave. Virtually nothing has changed. Last I looked, I think the Republicans lost one seat in the Senate and gained like four or six seats in the House. I mean, th there's no fucking wave. There's no goddamn wave. Anyhow. Voting, and I know all the fucking vote tards out there. But great one, don't you understand? We, no, democracy, our democracy is based on democracy. No, your democracy is fucking retarded, and so is voting. All right, and then I also, I I, I want to see all the stats and everything. But I saw somebody tweeted on the Twitter, and they had some stats. Zoomers, apparently Zoomers, according to what this guy's screenshot said, I don't know if it's true or not because it's the internet. Everything is fake. As we know, I can't tell sarcasm from reality. But shockingly, apparently, perhaps, maybe, the Zoomers voted Democrat. Because remember now, the Zoomers, they're going to save us. The Zoomers are the most conservative generation since the millennials. Well, they're the only generation since the millennials. The, conserv the conservatives. The Zoomers are more conservative than the millennials. How many conservatives have you heard going down that path? By the way, you can also just type in cls.link slash xmas2020. Get straight to the page where you can pick up six feet from Christmas. Because maybe, maybe you need a little bit of cheer in your life because your political candidate lost. It, it doesn't matter, guys. Here's the thing about democracy. All of us lose. It doesn't matter who wins. We all lose. So you see, the Zoomers, <clears throat> Zoomers, it turns out, Oh, well, that's very interesting because I just did a key combination there to mute my microphone and whatever the hell you just saw on the screen that just happened. So that's fantastic. Same time out, new software. So apparently that is not a good key combination to utilize for fucking muting the microphone. I swear to fucking God. Hold on, I want to try this again. Okay, so I just have to not apparently, oh my God, Ugh, fucking I hate technology. What is it? No, I don't know what. 
Device simulation change. What in the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I know what happened. I hate technology with a passion. All right, speaking of things I hate with a passion, everybody else, let's just get to the point of this episode of Watching the Decline. I was on the internet doing some stuff, and I just stumbled upon this. I have not watched this video. I, I watched a little bit of the beginning, and the captions were on, and I was looking at the captions, and I said, you know what? Let me just save this. Let's just do an episode of Watching the Decline, especially right after the election, because you see, the title of this video says that these are all first-time voters. And so for those of you who are all into democracy, which I know is none of my audience, except with the exception of Aaron Clary, so I'm, I'm tuned in to Chad Elkins, Elkins Hour uh, this week because I got off work early on Tuesday for a change. And they were talking about the voting and everything. And Cal, I just, oh, I just voted like a good little status. That's my impersonation of Aaron Clary. I just voted. I voted Republicans because Republicans are awesome. Uh, you know, sure. You know, and all making fun of Aaron aside, though, he said, well, it's like a rear guard action. No, a rear guard action is shooting your enemies. I mean, look, I, I get the notion of voting in self defense. I get it. I really do. Here's the biggest problem with it, though the whole thing is does anyone believe at this point? Is there anyone left who actually thinks that your vote counts? And I don't mean your vote counts as stupid. Here, here's what I'm saying. Do any of you think that the votes are actually getting counted? Like, do you think that someone or some machine, whatever, like you're voting and someone's tallying them up? Guys, politics in the United States is about as realistic as professional wrestling. You know how when Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock go down to the ring in order to have a match? They already know who's going to win. The ma it, Everything is just, that's the entertainment. Guys, do you really think someone is sitting around counting the votes? We all, they, they, you know, the corporations the government, the Jews, they already know, the pedophiles, they already know who's going to win the election before the election is held. This is, it's not like you're really making a decision here. No one is sitting around counting these pieces of paper like it's fucking high school and you're electing the fucking homecoming queen. This is completely fucking fake. And that's the reason you're allowed to participate in it is so that you think you have some kind of control over what's going on. All right, let's get to the let's get to the video here. Brace yourselves. Because when I click over to this tab, just, just, everyone brace yourselves. Oh, hold on. Does this thing tell me how long I've been recording? Oh, it does. Okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, okay. What, what is that thing? Not the black one. I know what the black one is. I'm talking about the one right in the middle. The one with the shiny face and the red hair and the alien bone structure. What is that? Eight, first time voters. This is why voting doesn't work. Discuss Roe v. Wade, abortion access, states rights and protesting. How long is this video? 15 minutes. All right, let's do this. How is it fair that you get to like make this rule for my body over here? About oh my God. How is it fair that you get to make this rule for my body? Well, how is it fair that you get to make rules for my body? 
It's called taxation. Taxation is theft. Taxation is not just the theft of my money. It's the theft of my time because my time is how I get money. And the way I process my time into money is by using my body. So how do you get to make laws about my body? About my race over there and my violence over here. Well, we have to make laws about your race because we have to make laws to protect your race because you can't do things like get a job unless there's a law to protect your race and say you have to give jobs to black people because black people can't get jobs on their own, right? Without affirmative action laws, you would be nothing. But then the time comes, you get to just hide and get a Supreme Court law pass over you where you get protection. How is that fair? And where is my protection? In well, your protection is because you're black and because you're a victim and not because you're also gay and because you're a victim. And of course, that, that clip is out of context. I don't know what he's responding to, but who, who's getting what magic something from the Supreme Court? I guess maybe we'll find out. This is from Teen Vogue. Vogue magazine, you may be familiar with Vogue magazine. It's a, it, you, I don't know what Vogue magazine is now because I haven't looked at an issue of Vogue magazine in years. Vogue magazine used to be a fashion magazine, and then Teen Vogue was a fashion magazine for teenage girls back when we could tell the difference between girls and boys. And it was about how to be pretty and do your hair and wear nice clothes and your fingernails and paint them and stuff like that. I don't know what Teen Vogue is about now, but this is gonna this is fairly obviously telling us what Teen Vogue is about. We spoke to eight left leaning because because you know diversity. We're gonna go find eight leftists. We're not gonna have any kind of balanced discussion. Now, first of all, how are you gonna find I mean, let's say you wanted to have eight people. So let's say you wanted to find four left-leaning and four right-leaning. I don't know where you're going to find four right-leaning people in this age demographic. Anyway, eight left-leaning first-time voters about the state of reproductive justice. These, these, these words are just amazing. These phrases, reproductive justice. First of all, why is anybody who doesn't have a uterus weighing in on this? Because I thought men were not allowed to have opinions about abortion. And by the way, reproductive justice, okay? We know what this means. It means abortion. It means abortion. We can't just say abortion because these are leftists. They can't just fucking say what they mean. Everything has to be the fucking code phrases. Once again, the great one himself, the founder of the Cynical Libertarian Society, the fuck who released the album Six Feet from Christmas, the only, guys, it's the only fucking Christmas album. Look, motherfuckers, the only Christmas album right here to get five, see that right there? One, for any leftists listening to this podcast, one, two, three, four, Five, five stars from C-Suite Magazine. Five fucking stars right here. Here's the review. Here's the link. Five stars from C-Suite Magazine. No other Christmas album in history has achieved a five-star rating from the prestigious C-Suite Magazine. You're welcome. But the great one just comes out and says, I want to live in a place that only has white people. The great one just comes right out and says, any woman who gets pregnant that's not married should be forced to have an abortion. The great one just comes right out and says, anybody with an IQ of 101 or less or who has a genetic disease should be sterilized so as they cannot pass on their genetic diseases and their low intelligence. Just come out and say it. Just, why can't leftists just come out and say abortion? What? Not just abortion, free abortion. 
You don't want to pay for the abortion. You want to get the abortion. You want to never be held accountable for the abortion. You don't even want anyone to know about the abortion until you want them to know about the abortion. And then you want to be celebrated for getting the abortion that you didn't even pay for. I mean, we're practically at the point where women who are so goddamn fucking lazy, they're going to need other women to go get the abortion for them because the women, they're going to be too busy at work pursuing their career to take time out to go get the fucking abortion. Okay? Why can't you just say what the fuck it is? Reproductive justice. No, it's abortion. Just fucking call it what it is, you fucking morons. All right, let's get started. We'll be here for a while. Two days before. Oh, when you're thinking about electoral strategy. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. None of these people are thinking. None of these people, and no one in here is capable of thinking. It's Jackie. She, her. She's a politics contributor and fellow. What's a fellow? What the fuck is a fellow? <clears throat> Let's also, I mean, do I even need to point out the complete lack of white people? Now, we know that white people were specifically excluded. You're going to say, well, great one. Isn't Lexi right there? <clears throat> Isn't that a white person? Well, it's, it's white-ish, and the other weird freak is white-ish, but I don't know if they're people. They, them, news and politics editor. That's an editor. I bet she has a journalism degree. Oh, my God, I called her a she instead of they. Oh, I've misgendered the freak. I would like to think that the lack of white people is because they couldn't find very many white people who are this fucked up mentally, but we know that's not true. The exclusion of white people is all in the name of diversity and inclusion and tolerance. To voting, going into something like the midterms, how are you thinking about where your power is as a voter? To focus more on actually like what are the needs that need to be changed and what are the things that need to be changed? Well, your existence needs to be changed. Progressive, liberal, and Democrat. She's progressive, liberal, and Democrat. Whoa, holy shit. She could do it all, guys. Progressive, liberal, and Democrat. What the media is throwing at me, because if we're talking about like- Oh, hold on. What the media is throwing you exactly what you want to hear. Okay, unless you're watching Fox News, the media is telling you exactly what you want to hear. What we can change, you're not changing anything, sweetheart. You're changing nothing. Like Roe v. Wade, that's in the hands of the Supreme Court. And <laughs> we have a Democratic president. Okay. But in terms of like- We have a Democratic president, so what? Uh, guy, look. Roe v. Wade is in the hands of the Supreme Court. Other than that, everything is in the hands of the fucking state governments. Once again, just, just it's, it, it's, here's this little darky girl completely relying, like everyone else, on nine old people wearing dresses you know, to shove a coat hanger up her cooch. I mean, sweet, you're strong, you're independent, you're probably going to college, you're going to have a career. If you can't murder your own fucking baby, what can you do? And not much. That's why there's affirmative action laws that helped you get into college. Who has chose the conservative or the people who are going to overturn? Look, look, at the, look at the thing over on the left, the thing that's passing for a white girl. Look at the head nodding up and down. And Roe right. v. Wade. Look, look, that's look. It's like, it's like all those little bobbleheads. Decision and a problem that's look, bobblehead. not going to be solved in four years. <laughs> that's a whole nother issue. But if we're thinking about things like climate change or like bill policy <laughs> from state to state and in, in terms of the entire country, I think that's a different question. In reality, a lot of Democrats are not as Democrat as they think they are. What is that? Okay, that's kind of... They, them, she, her. Liberal. She's liberal and Democrat. <laughs> I'm, I feel fairly confident that biologically that's a man. God. I mean, this is a – seriously, is this not a freak show? Okay, the, 19. These are Zoomers. 
Okay, this is why well, oh, but the, the Zoomers are more conservative. Oh, my God. When the Zoomers start voting, there's going to be a red wave. <sighs> All right. So, since I haven't watched this in advance, I probably need to try to try to actually listen to what they're saying, so I can instead of just making fun of what they look like. Which, uh, yeah, great one. You can't make fun of what people look like. Yeah, I actually, I can. I can, and I will. Well, that's intellectually just. I'm not. No, 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 guys. I don't give a flying fuck if it's intellectually dishonest or if it's valid philosophical arguments. It's fun. Making fun of what these eight freaks look like is fun. Okay? It's fun. But I should attempt to pay attention to the stupid shit they're saying so I can actually refute some of their stupidity as well. I mean, look at them. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. There's your Zoomers. There's your TikTok generation terms of the entire country, I think that's a different question. In reality, a lot of Democrats are not as Democrat as they think they are. It's just with certain topics they agree on, but a lot of other topics they don't. And I watch the watch the face on the freak over there. Yes, Democrats are guys. Well, hey, did you know that some of the Democrats aren't as Democrat? In other words, what it's saying is, did you know that politicians lie? Yes, the politicians are not what you think they are or what you want them to be. The guys, once again, have you ever watched professional wrestling? Okay? That's not who The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin really are. They're acting. And the fact that you fucking morons out there don't understand, like Nancy Pelosi and and Bill Clinton and I mean, okay, Joseph Biden might be the only one who actually is who he is because he's so senile, there's no way he can act. But all the rest of them, this is just acting. They're friends when they're not on camera. It's all the same fucking group of people. And they split the country up. They say, you're going to be allowed to have this part. I'm going to be allowed to have that part. We'll let the Republicans win over here. We'll let the Democrats win over here. The winners of the elections are decided before the elections are held. I don't know why you can't comprehend this. Actually, I do. It's because you're desperate to cling to this idea that somehow or another, your vote matters. And it's just like when rich people say, well, you know, money doesn't buy happiness. They're saying that so the poor people don't kill them. The government is telling you that your vote matters and allowing you to vote so that you don't recognize you're a slave and go kill them. That's all that's happening here. All right, let's try this again. In reality, a lot of Democrats are not as Democrat as they think they are. Look at it. It's Look just at with that. certain topics they mm -hmm. agree on, but a lot of other topics Look at it. they don't. And I think that if we said, instead of us focusing so much on left, right, left, right, like you said, if we try and we start like smaller, it'll be better. So if we, did, did that mean anything? If we try and we start smaller, it will be better. Okay, the, we, there's nothing, what, what are you even talking about? We're, we're now talking also about the Democratic Party and how it either functions or does not function well. But when you think about voting too, I guess who do you think would be to blame, right? Do you blame <laughs> the Democratic Party? White people. Itself for not being active, not moving fast enough? Do you blame non-voters, for example? We have like... So, so who, do you who do you blame for your failure? There we, all right, let's get in. Let's find out how Nazari... Okay, that is... That is... Oh, progressive and leftist. Wow, I've just never seen so much diversity. And just the, the amazing, oh God, there's amazing. Progressive and leftist? <laughs> That's biologically, I'm going to say that my, I can't, I honestly, I can't tell, but I think that might biologically be female. And it's easy to just say that just go the opposite of the pronouns. But I do, I'm looking at that face structure. See, like, now that one there, I'm, I, man, I don't, I want to say I'm pretty sure that one is female, but you know, 
I can't tell the difference between reality and satire. How can I tell the difference between boys and girls anymore? Kamala Harris, who everyone is supposed to be so happy about because she's a black woman, but she's a black woman, yet she's not doing anything for for women, for trans women, for trans women. Okay, that's your indicator that that is a tranny. She's not doing it. What, what do you need her to do for you? So you're saying, what is, what is Camel Toe Harris supposed to be doing for you? Anyone. So it's like, I don't see her getting out there and saying like, oh, like we gotta, we gotta do this or whatever, unless it's like the first day of Pride Month. So do what? What is it you need done? Just sit here. Well, I mean, I can do the same fucking thing. Watch this. <clears throat> Hi, well, I'm the great one himself, and I, I like girls, especially redheads and blondes and tall ones that play volleyball and stuff. And, you know, Camel Toe Harris, she's just not doing enough for me. Ooh, wait, what do you fucking want? I mean, you're constantly coddled. You have affirmative action laws and hiring quotas that are going to make sure you get into college. They're going to make sure that you get a job. The, the police are going to show up and protect you from the people who would kill you for being a tranny. Uh, if you molest children, <laughs> sorry, when you molest children, you'll get a reduced sentence as opposed to what a actual white man would get if he were to molest a child. I mean, what you, you live in a society where everybody is terrified to tell you the truth. You live in a society where you're constantly coddled. I mean, do any of these people look like they from the ghetto? Or anything like that. You know, if you had some black people in here who grew up like homeless on the street and people were trying to get them to give blowjobs for drugs or whatever. Okay, but but I mean, do any of these people look like they coming from the poor side of town? Do these look like fucking ghetto refugees who have had a hard life? What in the fuck does this thing need from Camel Toe Harris? Give me a list of your fucking demands already. Instead of just sitting here waving your hands around whining, what exactly are you expecting slash needing Camel Toe Harris to do for you so that you can maximize your potential? Honestly... I truly think it's the people that we vote for, and I don't ever know if it's a You voted for them, fucker! ...system's gonna change, because how do we never know if someone's gonna be true to their word? But oh my god. Okay. Hey, fuck wit. Here's a clue. Politicians lie. Yes. All politicians are like that. How do we know if they're going to be true to their word? I, um, maybe, hey, here's an idea. Maybe instead of looking at TikTok all day, maybe you could read some history books and learn that every politician in history has lied. And the politician you're about to vote for is not a fucking unicorn. I mean, th just the level of stupid. From, from anyone, if there's anyone of any political ideology, if the most hardcore conservative or the most hardcore Christ cuck came me, well, how do we know who's going to tell the truth? None of them are going to tell the truth, you fucking idiot. Elijah, he's a progressive. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm glad we have a different perspective, finally. A progressive. He's only a progressive. The main people that are getting the brute end of all of this oh. are these minority people in these communities. These minority people, you mean we might? Yeah, they're getting, yeah, oh my God, here we go. The, the minorities are the real victims of democracy. ...that we aren't funding. It goes the same with whoa, like, whoa, black we trans aren't women. funding? We, 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 we we're not funding. Like what? I truly think it's the people that we vote for and I don't ever know if the system's gonna change because how do we never know if someone's gonna be true to their word? But the main people that are getting the brute end of all of this God, are these gay. minority people in these communities that we aren't funding. It goes to... So they, well, 
we're not funding. What do you what do you mean? What, do you, what kind of funding do you need? You've got food stamps, you've got welfare, you've got public works, you got the roads, you got the sewers, you got the public water supplies, you got electricity. You're probably getting subsidized on all of that stuff. You have rent subsidies, housing stuff. Sub- what fu- what fucking funding do you need? What the fuck are you talking about? This is just incoherent. This this is almost not worth my time because it's just incoherent babble. There's no points being made here. There's not a salient fucking point has been made yet. The end of all of this are these minority people in these communities that we aren't look funding. Look at the thing it goes on the, the left. Same with like black trans women and rights to gender affirming health care and how white trans women will, most part, like. Whoa! Most def- Stop! Hold on! Hold 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 on! Hold on! Iris twenty that. Biologically, that is a man, and you can tell that the hormone injections are fucking him up. All right, let me. Okay, I mean, I could, I could just ridicule that all day long for its appearance, but let's try to see if it's going to say. Let's see. If, okay, the, it's white. Let's give it this. It's white. Maybe it can make an actual fucking salient point. Let's find Gender out. Gender affirming health care and how white trans women will, most part, like most definitely have access, especially rich trans women have access to gender affirming care when black trans women will not. Gender affirming care. In other words, people pretending that you're a girl when you're actually a boy. Um, That was not a salient point at all. What? What does this this have to do with Roe v. Wade, abortion access, states' rights, and protesting. I understand all these clips are just there, there's there's no convert. This is just clips. This is these are sound bites. This isn't even. I mean, th- this is nothing. This is literally Hitler, almost a complete waste of my time and your time. Because I, I was prepared to try to refute something intelligently. There's nothing here to fucking refute. These are sound bites from ten freaks. I'm gonna listen to this one more time. I want to see if there's anything here I can even fucking respond to. There's no context. I, I'm, I'm, and here I'm being serious. There's no context for anything we're hearing. It's just pure sound bites. Communities that we aren't funding. It goes the same with like black trans women and rights to gender affirming health care and how white trans women will most part, like most definitely have access, especially rich trans women have access to gender affirming care when black trans women will not. Rich white women have access to gender affirming care. Uh, rich white women don't need to pretend that they're boys. Rich white women are rich. All right, it, there, there's nothing here to even respond to. But remember, all these people vote. These are your Zoomers, these are your TikTokers. All right, the fucking. She almost, out of everyone here, she looks the closest to well i mean actually she looks fairly normal too all right let's see when i think about roe falling and about access to abortion it's that is something that will always be available to rich people oh my god the rich the rich the rich the rich the rich and yet you people you keep buying all those clothes you're wearing were made by rich people not rich people didn't make them rich people paid for making them you bought them making rich people richer you bought them at whatever store more rich people got money when you bought them at the store like just this the rich people the rich people you mean rich people like democrat politicians the rich the rich the rich we're so obsessed with the rich sweetheart how hard is it for you to shove a coat hanger up your cooch i really need to fucking know also like whether it's going to a different state or even going to a different country. So it's not only race, but that's also compounded by class. And there's Look at no all the head nodding. significant difference in the it's compounded the rate by class. of abortions. It's just the safety. Um, abortion, of, what do you mean the safety? Abortions are totally safe procedures. Are you implying that there's some kind of danger in getting an abortion? 
you need to be careful there, sweetheart, because that is a right-wing talking point that abortion is dangerous. The abortions that occur? As opposed to the abortions that don't occur? So I think the whole thing is, it is a religious issue, and it's also an issue of nice jump control cut. and who gets to be controlled. Yeah, because you, you leftists, you're certainly not interested in controlling other people. Right. Leftists have no desire to control other people. Now put some cloth over your face and get vaxxed or else we're not going to let you leave your house. I think it's really easy to blame states' rights, right, as like the loophole that's allowing Roe v. Wade and abortion rights in general to be overturned. But uh, No, you stupid fucking pox bitch. States' rights are not allowing Roe v. Wade to be overturned. <laughs> fucking God almighty. States' rights, you stupid fucking fat darky, are the things that are in some states going to allow women to continue to get subsidized to murder their children. See, leftist, contrary to anything you may have heard about leftist, leftists are totalitarians. And leftists, just like Republicans, want all the power at the federal government level because they want to lord over the greatest number of people. Leftists cannot stand the idea that, for example, people in South Dakota might do something differently than people in New York City. They just can't fucking stand it. It just they they lay awake at night thinking about how much they want to impose their will on people in South Dakota, even though they live in New York City, where their will has already been imposed, and people are vaxxed, and people are walking around with cloth on their face, and you can go down to the corner and get a free abortion at a fucking tent on the street corner. They're just so desperate to force that upon South Dakota. I got a message yesterday from my friends in Colorado. Your, your state voted not to legalize marijuana. What's wrong with your state? You live in a state where you can buy marijuana. Why are you so fucking concerned about whether or not South Dakota legalizes marijuana? Why is it? Why is it that leftists can't impose leftism in the state they live in and be happy? It's because they have to impose it on everyone. Just shut up. States' rights is also something that, for example, is why certain states can raise the minimum wage, right? There are other things that at the state level they've been the able to codify head protections for the marginalized head people. Look at that. So do you think God, I'd states' like to rights slap her. is a good thing? I never really had a problem with oh, it. Oh, God. I'm now thinking... I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's two. I never had a problem with it until now. That was funny. But then it said, I'm thinking, which is obviously not true. Being able to codify protections for marginalized people. So do you think states' rights is a good thing? I never really had a problem with it until now. I'm now thinking that no, not. they have a little bit too much power because they have the too fact much power. that Texas is able to have the legislation in place that they have, like, you could rat someone out for having an abortion and you could rat someone out for not being vaxxed. You could rat somebody out route for violating the stay at home order and having more than eight other people come to their house. You can rat people out for not filing their income tax. You know, you can rat you can rat people out for racism. You could rat somebody out for not hiring you because you're black. See, all of that is okay. But when it comes to killing unborn children, well, now we gotta have a difference. We can't rat people out for that. Take them to court for that, and you will be you, paid. Like they will be fined. You can take people to court for all kinds of stuff, and people will be fined. I mean, this is not some new thing. And that's crazy to me that that's because you're stupid. To happen, that's able to happen. It's a little problematic when you problematic. have states. You know. Okay, problematic. <sighs> Liberal and Democrat. She's multitasking also. It's problematic. Have their own separate kind of way of governing. Yes, and when it's, it's not problematic when states have, my God, this is what I'm saying. They just want, every, they want the same laws for everyone everywhere. Because everybody should be, everyone is the same, every blah, 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 every, how do I say this? This is diversity. This is tolerance. This is multiculturalism, of course. 
they they just they have to force their way on everyone else. No one else is allowed to have different rules for their society, different laws, just different customs, different traditions. They just cannot stand that idea. Kind of counterintuitive for people to get resources and what are you to be safe. About? I think that's when to be it's safe. An issue and I think to be kind safe. Of counter- it's a little problematic when you have states, you know, have their own separate kind of way of governing. And when it's kind of counterintuitive for people to get resources and to be safe. To get resources, you get a job. That's how you get resources. You create value for other people. Now, I understand you're a pox. You get resources by playing the victim card and being on welfare. But those of us who are white and superior to you, we get resources by creating value for other people. And I don't know what the fuck safe has to do with anything. I think that's when it's an issue. And I think, you know, the federal government should step in there. Of course I it should. I agree on the fact that there are some things that the state should be able to legislate. I think they should be able to legislate like minimum wage because it depends on where you live and how that factors into your life and your livable experience or whatever. But or whatever. legislating on a woman's right to choose. A woman's right to choose! A woman's right to choose! It's a woman's right to choose! Or legislating on the fact that Look at that gap between her teeth. A gun could kill someone. That is on a whole nother... Legislating that a gun can kill someone. ...moral level. No, you don't know anything about morals. they shouldn't have... Yes, they should. ...the right to choose for us. Right, but the, but the federal government should have the right to choose for you. Once again, they're so fucking stupid because they assume they're always going to get their way. Now, that, and here's the thing. To a large extent, they will because the Republicans have already shown us that especially on the national level, they are completely cucked and completely spineless and completely ballless. Remember when I said that, oh, yeah, when the Obamacare passes and blah, 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 and the Republicans get control, they'll use the Obamacare to somehow limit access to abortions and shit like that and then Obamacare passed and the Republicans for a brief moment had control and and Trump was in the White House and nothing. Absolutely nothing. Even now I mean okay so Roe versus Wade has been overturned and there's a few things here but I don't even know. Are there any states where it's actually illegal to get an abortion? And and I mean I I haven't seen any because here's the thing If Republicans in some states were rounding up women for getting abortions when it's illegal, pretty sure I haven't seen that by now on Twitter. Pretty sure I'd have seen that by now. How could I avoid it? I would start the internet and somehow or another this would be shoved in front of my face. Just this endless hand-wringing over abortion. Like, women only have one gun. Well, I shouldn't say women because these are all freaks. Freaks only have one fucking thing in their life to work. Abortion. My issue is not with states' rights, but more with privacy and and what you really should be able to legislate on. Like, I don't think that what bathrooms people choose to use should be... Like, I, I don't think that political time and resources should be devoted to that. I think. Oh, God. Why? This obsession. We have to tell you what bathroom to use because your generation can't figure it out on their own. That's ridiculous. I guess I'm just curious, like, oh, when these God. issues kind of come up, like, what's, the, like, the responsibility of cis men in this Fuck in, you. In- our responsibility. Well, no, we've completely. I know, God, our responsibility was to control you, and we failed. Like, this, this thing right here. This thing should not even be alive. That was our responsibility, and we completely dropped the ball. In a pregnancy or an abortion, whether it's like coming out as pro. Oh, well, we should. Our, our responsibility when you're wanting to murder your child is to pay for it for you because you're strong and independent, you have a career, and you can't be burdened with paying for your own abortion. You're going to go ahead and need us to do that for you choice like do you think that that's even like something that's useful i do think it's a little bit unfair for uh, a man to if a man wants his child to not be able to have his child now yes it's her body and she should be able to say what she wants to um for her body she knows her body 
very well. No, no, they don't. Forty-five percent of women don't know where the fucking vagina is at. They do not know their body very well. Fucking. But God. you also lead with this person, so you also made a decision. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Did 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 that did? I don't know if that's a man or a woman. Did that thing just attempt to hold? Look look at her face. Look at her face. That he just attempted to hold women accountable for who they have sex with. Look. Look at those expressions. Look at those faces. Look. Look at that right there. That, that, that thing. That fucking pudgy white fucking excuse for a woman look at the expression on the face oh my god oh, this is getting this just got good I look at that look that if you were to get pregnant look that you look! have someone else to think about you know wow so, look at those expressions yes, we shouldn't be Woo! making direct decisions on women's bodies they are but, not happy um a partner should be able to make a decision on what they want. I don't know. I view. Oh, I don't know. I, no, I'm pretty sure you do know. I bet. I, I am 100% certain that you know. Dude, all right. That was priceless. That moment right there was priceless. As like a medical procedure. So I feel more inclined to say that, you know, no one should really have a say on whether or not that you want to get a medical procedure by yourself, you know? And that hold, goes the same with a Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What they want. I don't know. I view abortion as like a medical procedure. So you mean like being vaccinated? So I feel more inclined to say that, you know, no one should really have a say on whether or not you want to get a medical procedure by yourself, you know? But everyone should have a say on whether or not you get a chemical injected into your body, right? And that goes the same with abortion in my mind at least. I your think I agree more broken. with Iris as far as it Of course you do because you're being a stupid like a medical whore. procedure and I'm because also you just want to be able to kill When I think children. about abortion, I think a lot of people view it almost as nice punishment jump like cut. you slept with someone and like that was the wrong decision and now like this is the consequence and you have to do this and it's sort of your atonement. So I think it's religious in that sense. That's a very Christian sentiment and that I think kind of gets at the core of it, where even if you you hate the idea of it, you hate the procedure, it goes against your religion. Um, the fuck is she talking this about? This is not a, a theocracy. I would love the to see men she taking about? more action to put- Oh, I would too. I'd love to see men taking more action. For example, to expel you from my country and to tell you to shut the fuck up because you're insane. Prevent pregnancy in the first place um you know having protective sex a theocracy. i would love to see men taking more action to prevent pregnancy in the first place right because women can't take any action to prevent pregnancy i mean there's only like 18 forms of birth control for women including plan b pills and abortion but it, it's we still need men to babysit us because we're strong we're independent we can do it all you know career fur baby love to travel but we still need men to take even more action to prevent us from getting pregnant um you know having protective sex and you know doing what <laughs> you need to do and i think like i've seen like men have this culture where it's like you know, like, I knocked this person up, or like, I did this, you know, I'm gonna go get her plan B. And it's like, well, let's, let's, let's actually treat this with respect, because it's a real, it's... Yes, yes, as, as these women are riding the cock carousel, we need to treat them with respect. It's, it's a serious issue. Their role in allyship is to change that culture. That's the biggest thing they can do. Stop making it so normalized. Like you said, to put everything on the woman to not get pregnant or... Well, it is on the woman. It's... Okay. It's her body, her choice. Isn't that the entire shtick? Her body, her choice? Are you... Are you actually this stupid? And I'm inclined to believe you are from just looking at your skin color and your appearance and your wardrobe. You're the ones who have put it all on the women. It's her body, her choice. For, for what's the word, to make her stress about 
choosing between to have a child or not. Oh my God, yes, because women are so stressed out about whether or not they should abort their unborn children. Yeah, women are laying awake at night worrying about this. Sounds like we're all kind of like talking about contraception without saying it. So like, can we like stupid. get a little explicit and be like condoms, birth control? Like, like I feel like we're suggesting maybe there's a culture where like we know what these are and people aren't using them, or yeah. people don't yeah. choose that. People Does that feel true? Like, right, because no one, no one's heard of condoms. This is totally unheard of technology. 45% of women can't locate their vaginas, but 45% of women know what a fucking condom is. 45% of women know what a fucking plan B pill is. I mean, come on, girls. How are you this fucking stupid? Besides, tell the man to put on a condom. You're strong. You're independent. You can do it all. You're wearing the pants. You're girl boss. If the man's going to fuck you, tell him to put on a condom. If he's not going to put on a condom, then don't have sex with him. Isn't that that your number one tactic of getting things right up there with taking your clothes off? Well, I, we're not going to have sex with men until we get whatever we want. I mean, okay, if the man's not wearing a condom, keep your legs together. Oh, wait, you can't keep your legs together because you can't control your own body. Birth to use condoms. Yeah, like yeah. You, men, like, can use, like, birth control. Men can use condoms or whatever. Like, I have majority female friends, and, like, they tell me that, like, Hold on, hold on, I gotta read this. I found it. Okay, so high school students use condoms and heterosexual students use fewer. Yeah, because we actually like to fuck. All right, anyway. When, like, they have sex with, like, they're, the men that they have sex with, like, they usually are just on birth control. So, like, that's the okay. contraceptive that they're using. Do you think students should have the ability to, like, give input to what they're learning in schools? I don't... No! It's not that I don't think students should be able to... Okay, you shouldn't be in schools. But no, nobody wants a fucking 14-year-old to say what they should or shouldn't learn. They're 14 years old. They don't fucking know anything, especially if they've been in public school for their entire life. They especially don't fucking know anything. Show what they learn, but... How much do students know what they need to want to learn, especially if you're in high school? Like, how much do you know that you need to know if you don't know what you need to know? Uh, she's actually, see, she's made, she's actually right. She's right. Um, so I definitely think that what we're learning, obviously more needs to be implemented, but I just don't think students know to the full capacity what, what they're missing until they get out. I think the school needs to do a better job at, at, at just basically teaching sex education. Like, with the teachers, no, it doesn't. The parents need it. And we'll put parents, okay, and this, well, well parents, they're scared or whatever. Okay, well, guys, listen, if you can't fucking explain sex to your children, maybe you shouldn't be reproducing. I mean, maybe there's another thing. It's like, before you can have a kid, when, when I become dictator of the United States, right? Another hurdle. Before you can have a child, you have to go into a room and you have to role play explaining sex to children. Your children, not other people's children in public school. But you have to role play out how you would explain sex to your children. And if you can't do it, no, you're not going to have kids. And this shit, well, all this, all these fucking excuses that parents, I use the term parents loosely because they're not parents, they're breeders. Well, I, you know, you need the school to explain sex to your children because you can't figure out how to do it. Well, my God, if you can't figure out how to explain sex, maybe you're not smart enough to be reproducing. Um, make sure you have teachers in a room that aren't going to push their values or their morals onto these children. Oh, my God. Of First of all, why don't you make sure you have teachers in the room that aren't going to push themselves on their students. Go over to franksurvey.com and read about all the female teachers that have had sex with their students. But yes, you, what are you talking about? You don't want teachers who are going to push their morals on children. You, every one of you, your entire lifestyle and future is based on teachers indoctrinating children with shit like trannyism and homosexuality and indoctrination, indoctrinating them with uh, tolerance and diversity and multiculturalism. Your entire fucking existence is based around teachers shoving their political, social, economic, philosophical viewpoints on the children who aren't smart enough to defend themselves. Sure that they're just teaching the curriculum. What difference, if any, would it have made to like have just learned really basic gender and sexuality information in schools? Oh, I would God. be very much more confident in 
deciding to transition at a younger age. The reason you're not confident is because you're mentally ill and you're a freak. Age, if I knew about it, because I was so fearful and like the definition of not being confident. Like, can, I hey, can you guys guess that this weird looking freak is not confident and afraid? I bet you couldn't have guessed that based on the weird freak's body language. I did not believe I could ever do it until I did. I, I you're mentally ill. Iris, you're uh, mentally ill also. Like, we've progressed with like we should normalize that people in high school could be transitioning. No, there, it's and, called uh, mental some illness. Some people don't know their gender. I just yes, mm yes, they no, every, yeah. Oh my God, some people don't know their gender. Well, thank God the Zoomers are more conservative than millennials. When they vote, there's going to be a red wave. I think I would be have been more confident as a, a teenager, and I would have been able to. Um, They're all outing be themselves more, as trannies um, for sure. Authentic to myself, I was always trying to figure out who I was, and always trying yep, to. Yeah, that's like, definitely a female um, that thinks be it's like a man. other people. And um, I think that happens when you don't know about yourself. If you don't, if you don't know what it means to like be like gay or be like any of these things and you don't really that have means the word you're for normal. it. I feel like that's what happens in a lot of I don't know what scenarios it's like to be with gay. a lot of uh, children I'm not. under the LGBTQ spectrum. Like they just don't know the words or the language and then if we just, just give them the words, years, they can figure, they figure out they're not out. boys. I definitely think it made a big impact on who I am today. A if freak. I knew about it when I was younger and it was being taught in schools, I would have felt less ignorant than I do now. And oh, I'm still learning I about it because you're still pretty I have my biases and I'm still learning to unbreak those, you know, because I was only kind of like taught in a way through my home, through my church, through the people I just surrounded myself with, but never in like a real educational way. My father is religious. He's a Republican. My mother is Democrat. So yeah, we don't failed. push these conversations. But when we do have them, yeah, head it definitely brings a little... I agree with you, but up. not on that. I disagree with you, but we can agree to disagree and stuff like that. And I do find myself being like, like you said before, kind of like an educator to our parents a little bit. No, and God. it makes in that way it makes you feel less. Your ignorant, parents which have I failed. Your parents need to slap you. With our generation, because we push those issues to be taught and to be known, so we don't because grow you up don't with have anything else in your parents. life, and that's why you sit around pushing shit like trannyism and. There's no such thing as boys and girls and your fucking autism sexuality spectrum and stuff like that because you have nothing else in your life. When they were younger. A lot of people did go protest outside Brett Kavanaugh's house after the Roe v. Wade leak came out. And then a lot of other people were That's like, they oh, didn't have we should never protest outside like politician's house. Like this is the political sphere. It's inappropriate to go take this to somebody's front door and make them feel unsafe. Do you think there's a line when it comes to protesting towards politicians or elected officials? Oh no, or we, it's totally okay to like burn down cities case, right? like, you didn't if we don't get them, our but way. They still have a lot of power over like your life. I don't think it was extreme at all for them to protest in front of this house. If they weren't on the lawn, if they weren't trying to smash his windows or bust in, it's a regular protest, you know? I think okay, you got she's to right the, about the that. extreme where other groups, we all know who, broke BLM. into the Capitol. That's the line. You oh saw. my God! That's where it became. You're no, not doing this. But see, the, but see, the darkies burning cities was okay. But when some white people take a self-guided tour of the Capitol building, which they paid for through their tax money, that's oh, this is fucking hilarious. That's oh, wrong. I think you got to the extreme where other groups, we all know who, broke into the Capitol. That's the line you cross. Look at the dark That's in the where back. it became you're expressions. not doing this just to fight for what you believe in. You're doing this to pursue violence. Yeah, now, all the violence. Okay. About, like, so the white people doing a self guided tour of the Capitol, that was violence. The darkies burning down cities, throwing bricks at people, hitting people with two by fours. See, that was a peaceful protest. And remember, Republicans think that all of the people, in, th these 10 people right here in front of you right now, Republicans think they should vote. Republicans are the enemy. Never forget that. Yes, I know the vote doesn't count. I've said that already. But still, Republicans think that as part of maintaining this masquerade, that these 10 people should be allowed to participate in the masquerade. Vandalism or like destruction of property 
and they make such a fuss about that, but they're not paying attention to the reason why people are doing that. Oh, see, destruction of property is okay because you you need to understand why people are destroying property. Shows their like wow, look at the head bobbing. Their ways they cannot perceive like value in other people's lives. Once it's black people or people who are standing up for marginalized groups of people, and they're oh, here comes the race card violence and yes it is oh trump wants to send in guns to these hoodlums and we're ghetto and this that the third you are but then what were these january 6th people called like They're you know what i taking mean taking a soft guy to tour people <laughs> like the proud boys <laughs> yeah. who's proud of that are you proud like proud it, i'm boys. not what are you talking about? about politicians being able to eat out especially if you're being paid like five hundred thousand dollars a year like go <laughs> Go to your like second house, like it's fine. The bathroom, though. The bathroom is a bit, but like, <laughs> like I just feel like there are more important things to worry about. I think there's a line. <laughs> I think the line is are those two V's. Let's start with the two V's: violence and vandalism. And then when it comes to like, I guess personal space, because like, what are you talking? I think it's personal. I, I'm. <laughs> That's hard to say though, because I, I know as a politician, you're more like a public servant to us. But if you're eating and someone's in your face and you're peeing and someone's in your face, I'm gonna call on Dominique Van Kai. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, <laughs> I agree to the point that you were gonna say, and I. You know, this one girl here, she the, that she um, is the only one making any semblance of sense. I feel like politicians, they work for us, and they're supposed to be. No, they no politicians don't work for you, you stupid bitch, you are a fucking slave. And as I've said before, it's been a long time since I've gone down this road, but if anyone in this country should be able to recognize slavery when they see it, especially if they're as smart as they think they are, it should be black people. But the fact that black people are so fucking willing to embrace slavery to the government, I mean, it's just one more reason why it's I can't sit here and take black people as being intelligent. I mean, if anyone, as much as they go on about slavery, you would think they'd be capable of recognizing slavery when they are slaves, and yet they're not. Yes, it's it. Yes, the government completely Our representatives controls want to you. Look at it that way. you. They do not work for you, sweetheart. You are their and someone's property. in your face, and you're peeing, and someone's in your face. I'm gonna call on Dominique Van Kai. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah. I agree to the point that you were gonna say, and I feel like politicians, they work for us, and they're supposed to be our representatives if you wanna look at it that way. So I think, yes, you shouldn't like if you start look violence on someone, but I feel like that also goes to community building. Don't go somewhere and you know, you know you did something harmful to these people, and you're sitting here eating lunch. I think people should have a right to confront you, you know? And if you don't want that, then maybe either. Okay, and you did something awful to people. You did something awful to me by voting for liberals that are forcing the bullshit you believe in upon me. So can I come and fuck with you while you're eating lunch? Or go somewhere else or switch professions. But if you're taking away people's rights, you should be confronted at pizza. Being a politician. You're taking away my rights. Through the democratic process, you are taking away my rights comes with a consequence and even if you are being followed if it is continuous harassment you do have the right to take legal action but no one told you to be a politician and you're not forced to be a politician no either. one told you to you be a tranny to you're not forced to be a and tranny you know the consequences although we did just see congress pass a law to give uh supreme court justices yeah, more protection bobbing. specifically God, in response to the great situation if we were to put more protection for politicians it would have to go for more other individuals as well because no. politicians don't have like they shouldn't feel more protected than regular individuals oh you are so fucking either naive or stupid yes your slave masters are entitled by the government to more protection than you are Okay, if someone like right now, this freak that's right here in front of us, if someone came and shot this freak in the head, there would be a certain level of response. Now, if someone shot a police officer in the head, there'd be a greater level of response. And if someone shot a politician in the head, well, there would be an even greater level of response. And this, this is just the facts. Yes, they are entitled to more protection 
than you are. And they are entitled to that protection under the government that was created by the democratic process that you support. How is it fair that you get to like make this rule for my body over here about my race over there and my violence over here, but then the time comes, you get to just hide and get a Supreme Court law pass over you where you get protection. How is that fair? And where Oh, so see, now there's some context for that. So the person he's speaking to, how is it fair that you get this extra protection, is politicians. Well, it's because people like you, I, once again, guys, if everyone would just shoot a politician we wouldn't have this problem anymore. The reason the politicians have these special privileges is because you and all of you, conservatives, Christ cucks, libtards, progressives, trannies, fags, child molesters, men, women, all of you, it's because none of you, none of you have the balls to kill the politicians. It's like, why are women destroying our society? Because there are no white men who have the balls to control their women. Why are politicians destroying all this shit? Because none of you have the balls to control the politicians. That which you reward is that which you will get more of. Where is my protection? See, my, my problem like arises no, we know your when problem. things like that is done. So that's done for those politicians, right? What about all the people who were at the voting booths who literally like had people trying to kill them, like murder them? That did them. not happen. W what are you talking about? There's nobody at a voting booth that someone was trying to murder. You're making things up. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm just stand with Juliana on this. Like I just feel like you, you took on this role, and I mean I wouldn't want anyone that I, I um, help get into office to be harassed or anything like that. I wouldn't want anyone I helped get into office to be harassed. But other, but people I didn't help get in office, they can be harassed. No, no, all politicians should be harassed equally. They should be harassed with a bullet to the frontal lobe. But you took on this role, and some people may feel like you're ruining their lives. You some are. Some people may feel like you have destroyed their lives. Because you have. Check your voter registration. Register to vote. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, there was that. There was team. That was, that was an interesting experience. So after that, you uh, should probably go over here to Cynical Libertarian Society and pick up a copy of Six Feet from Christmas. Bring a little Christmas cheer and spirit. All right. We're gonna end this video now. And we're going to see how the recording came out and see if this is worth a shit. And I will catch you cats on the flip.